Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is another edition of A Little Gossip With Me. Come down, have a seat. This is down a car conversation. No, I'm not at home. Y'all know I am in Chicago visiting my brother and my sister-in-law. So I'm in the room, okay? I'm in the room. So this is another portion of my little vacation. Even though I just posted that I would not have any videos, I am still recording videos. So as you see from the title of this video, this is the whole Tamar versus The Real versus Tawanda Braxton. So if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole Jaybird. I'm trying not to yell because I'm in somebody else's house. So don't be like, why is she whispering? I'm just not using my really, really loud voice, okay? Because you can't be in somebody else's house yelling. That's not what you do here. So become a whole Jaybird, okay? Hey, Jaybirds. Hello, hello, hello. Um... So we saw The Real, The Ladies of The Real was on the um, Breakfast Club this past week. I think it was on Friday they did an episode. And so of course it was Jeannie Mai and um, who was it? Jeannie, Lonnie Love, Adrian, and Tamara were all on there talking about different things. But the thing that people picked up on the most was them commenting on Tamar. Now we all know that Tamar was on the show during seasons one and season two, she was let go at the end of season two, and they've now they're on season five currently. They have never spoken about the whole Tamar situation. We have never heard the ladies' side for the most bit. Um, Tamar had spoke about everything from before. We know she's gave plenty of interviews about her side. She's talked about her side also on her two shows, The Braxtons, and also back when they had Tamar and Vince. So the whole thing is on the show either Charlotte one of them asked them about the whole Tamar thing because again they've never talked about it and for the most part Lonnie spoke the most Lonnie just kind of brought up how one none of them had anything to do with Tamar being let go and two they haven't spoken about it since it happened but they will finally speak and say things about what happened they kind of I feel like still say they have no idea why she was let go they did not know why it happened you know they found out on social media like everybody else found out and when it happened they all reached out to each other asking like what happened what happened what happened and they even bring up how because tamar unfollowed lonnie first it made everybody assume that lonnie had something to do with it and how she you know slowly she then un unfriended i think genie and then from there went from adrian into samara and I think they had the right to finally speak up and say something about it. You know, Lonnie also wanted to think of something changed. She said she don't know what changed, but something happened, something changed to where Tamar was not on the show. I kind of feel like they pointed the finger to Vince a little bit too. Um, she then goes and say how after it happened, she was on a plane, flying wherever, and she ended up running into Tawanda, okay? The, the, the sister who I said don't do nothing, okay? That sister. So she saw Tawanda on the plane after the whole fire thing had happened. And Tawanda said to her, you know, there's an episode that they shot, an emergency episode of our show, of Braxton Family Values with Tamar, and you need to see it. And she said, you know, like I said, she had friends over at WeTV. And because she has friends at WeTV, someone showed her the first recording that was done, which had Vince saying it was the ladies who had gotten Tamar fired and so she said she then said you know let them know if you guys point fingers and say that we did something and kind of accusing us we will have to like take legal action and that's why they end up shooting differently and they never showed Vince blaming the ladies of the real so that happened on Friday then they came into it and they showed how Tawanda I guess was not upset but she just came at kind of came back and said things like you know I remember that flight. I did not give her any head kind of heads up. I, I, what did she say? Um, she came up. She said, what I'm not willing to do is allow anyone to create dissension. I absolutely was on the flight with Comic Lonnie Love. And how many years ago was this conversation? I'm amused at how the statements were paraphrased. It was never a heads up. And as 
I soon saw, and as soon as I saw Lonnie on the flight, I immediately contacted Tamar to let her know that I saw her on the flight. Um, the interview circulating that I included, that I'm included in, is bullshit. Why I feel, comp why I feel compelled to um, keep mentioning Tamar when it pertains to that talk show. I guess they are her biggest fans. Y'all should ask Tamar to come back since she's the hot topic. Keep it real or change the name of the show. The real um, love you, Tamar. And this is some bullshit. I feel like, Twanda, you protest too much, okay? My thing is... You can't say what she did not say is that she did not tell Lonnie what Lonnie said. All she's saying is it wasn't a heads up. But I feel like if you tell someone, hey, guess what? It was something recorded. You know, you should see it. That that's the heads up. That's saying, hey, you should see something. What would not have been a heads up is if you did not tell her anything. But you t you said exactly what she said. Her issue was that she put the whole heads up thing as in Tawanda was trying to throw Tamar up under the bus. We all know that back then y'all wasn't that cool. So I don't put it behind Tawanda that she, you know, put a little bug in Lonnie's ear. And now she just didn't think it would come up all these years later. And Tamar isn't the talk of that show. Like no one talks about Tamar on that show anymore. Honestly, they don't. She's been gone for three seasons. So it's like at this point in time, it doesn't really matter. And she isn't the talk of the town, period. Like they asked her about it. And plus the real ladies have never talked about what happened. But Tamar did a number of interviews and read all kind of stuff talking about that show talking about how she just tamar basically said the same thing it's the same thing the lady said they don't know why she's fired tamar said that back then and they're saying that now so i don't see why tawana want to come up and kind of pop up and say well you know they are always talking about my sister no they're not at all and i feel like because tawanda's in a better place with tamar now she of course wants to make it seem as if back then she didn't have any kind of malicious intent by telling lonnie hey they record stuff for the show you should probably check it out that's a heads up i don't you know, matter how you, you cut it slice it that's a heads up to anybody so i mean i don't care that much honestly but y'all have to come bring a little, a little breaking news um but it's stupid because the show again is on season five Tamar left after season two so they did three seasons without her and even the ladies said how the show is different now than it was then she brings up how back then they were doing little game show stuff it was like a it was they their show was back then was like a variety show whereas now I do feel like it's a real talk show um which well, the real um I was talking to my brother and my sister last night about it or whatever we did I think kind of mention on the live how it may be missing something I don't think it's missing Tamar I think Tamar is a lot to take on any given day um and the show is doing okay without her and even if it's missing something they don't have to add her back like don't bring her on that show for what like for what at all um i do believe that as tamar when she did a season a episode of the of the wendy williams show recently which person would she try to would she want to reconnect with if she wanted to i believe she said adrian um but lonnie also brought up how when they came on the show they all met on the show like they weren't like friends before or anything like that and how they became friends because of the show she also mentioned she had a whole deal before they all came together she's like even with that i don't have any power and neither does any of us that have any power to get one person fired she also probably a good thing she's like look at the title of our show the real it doesn't say any of our names usually talk shows with the wendy williams show um life with kelly and whoever else you know they are you know um well the view does say the latest names in the beginning so and it, and it changes as the people change so it is different to how the real does not you know it doesn't have any speculation to who's the real host of the show it's just the real and whoever's there so i don't like how tawan is kind of pushing to, to pushing to seem as if one you know y'all trying to create dissension no they talked about something that happened and that was their side of the story and you know her side wasn't much different than what Lonnie said her only difference was I didn't give her a heads up but you still told her about it so girl bye anyway that's all I have to say I want to get that on out so I am Jay Lee this is Jay Corner well no technically this is the Lee's Corner because you know I'm somewhere else but you know what I'm saying it ain't Jay Lee's Corner it's just them Lee's because I'm Jay Lee's them some other Lee's but whatever okay bye it's like love 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 and music